this is my crystal and mineral collection. I have a few more pieces that aren't shown here uh, because they don't fit in this small plastic bead box, which I've been using to house them. And recently I labeled all of my uh, specimens with a small number. And that got me thinking that I should take my collection to another level. So I'm going to be using this picture frame to create a shadow box, which will be divided just like this bead box, uh, but it will be made out of wood. This is why you need to be pretty careful when removing these uh, fasteners, because they're actually quite sharp. Okay, so here's the lumber that I got from the lumber yard. I got two one by twos, and I got this stack of wood here for free. Now, why I got it for free is it's just the wood that divides um, the boards that they get in at the lumber yard. So it's cheap, it's beat up, needs a lot of sanding, but it's really, really thin, and it's about the right dimension I need. Yeah.
Okay, so I've been testing various layouts with the crystals that I have. I wanted to be able to test and make sure that they would all fit. So some of them didn't, some of them did. So I've been playing around with it. Uh, I've got these dividers and I've just been thinking of ways that I can improve this. So for instance, that's going to go in there right on the bottom because th there is also a gap this way. Um, which when you look at it, if these were, uh, if these ones here were right against the bottom of the box, they'd be partially hidden by this wooden frame. Something like that. That's okay, so I've now cut some test pieces and I'm trying different layouts. I have a, an overall vision for what I want to do. Uh, but the actual fitting pieces together is a lot of trial and error. So rather than filming me make every cut, uh, I thought I'd do some update progress videos, especially because uh, with a shadow box uh, of this nature, or even uh, just with uh, crystals specifically in mind, people are going to have different size uh, crystals. So if someone, or el someone else were to do this, uh, the layout would probably be different, but the concept is more or less the same. So I've got these inch and a half dividers, and these are going to be the main dividers. And some crystals, like uh, this piece of aragonite, uh, that is going to be about an inch and a half, and that'll look fine. Same with this, same with these pieces of obsidian. Uh, but when you get to something like these little pieces of kyanite, or just any of these smaller tumbled stones, which are about the size of most tumbled stones that you'd buy in shops, uh, the inch and a half deep bit there is just a little too deep. Uh, and yes, it's gonna be on its side, so it'd be closer, uh, but it just, it it doesn't fit, the proportions are off. So I've uh, ripped some of these down, aha, perfect, like that, down to a, an inch thick. So now these bits fit a lot better on them, and then these ones uh, can go up on uh, the inch and a half shelves. Okay, so this is the second day working on these dividers, and it takes a really long time because each of these needs to be carefully cut, made sure that it's the right size, sanded, and then the gluing is sort of what takes most of the time here. Uh, as you can see, I've divided up these into little grids, much like uh, I had in my old jewelry box, uh, and this will hold most uh, like small, normal size tumbled stones. Uh, along the side here, I've sort of made some custom shelving, and then in and around here you can see I've made it so that I can uh, create boxes for specific crystals. Okay, so here I'm going to show just a little bit of the process of making these grids. So here, I have some pieces which are uh, gluing. They're just gluing down to this bottom piece here, uh, which is why I can't do the tape method, which I normally do, uh, which is what I did for all of those ones, uh, which is just to tape together to give it some uh, extra bonding power there. And then this is one that's been completed and it's ready to stain. Okay, so here's the final layout. Uh, I've created all the grids, stuck them in, stained them. It's all good to go. The next step is just to attach the picture frame to the front of the box. Okay, so I need some way to keep the display case closed. And because the dimensions are quite thin and the front is made of glass, uh, there weren't a lot of good options at the hardware store. But what I did do is I bought these rare earth magnets and I have put them in flush along here. So I'll then sink this into the picture frame and they'll snap shut. Okay, so I've peeled back a flap of the felt along the edge of the picture frame. That'll just hide the magnets underneath of that and it'll make sure that they won't chip uh, when they attach to the ones on the rest of the frame. Okay, so I've mounted the shadow box onto the wall using a honeycomb system. It's very simple, very easy to use, and does very little damage to the wall. And each one can hold 30 pounds. Now the box with the glass on weighs about 11 when I weighed it on my kitchen scale, which isn't the most accurate, uh, but that's the number that I got. That's without any rocks in it. 
but it's completed, it's ready to go, it's now time to fill it in with the beautiful crystals in my collection. Stocked up. I'm just getting close and show you some of the specifics. 